The human endocrine system is composed of several endocrine glands in different parts of the body. The three endocrine glands in the brain are the hypothalamus, pituitary and pineal glands. The hypothalamus is a part of the forebrain and appears as the floor of the diencephalon. It is formed of grey matter that contains neurosecretory cells called nuclei which produce hormones called neurohormones. Neurohormones regulate the synthesis and secretion of pituitary hormones. They are of two types releasing hormones and inhibiting hormones. The releasing hormones of the hypothalamus stimulate the anterior pituitary to secrete its hormones. For example, gonadotrophin releasing hormone stimulates the release of follicle stimulating hormone or FSH and luteinizing hormone or LH from the pituitary. On the other hand, the inhibiting hormones of the hypothalamus stop the anterior pituitary from secreting hormones. For example, somatostatin inhibits the release of the growth hormone from the pituitary. These hypothalamic hormones pass through the axons and are released from their nerve endings into the pituitary and into the portal circulatory system. This hypothalamic pituitary system is direct proof of coordination between the hormonal and nervous systems. It maintains homeostasis inside the body and regulates most of its physiological activities. The pituitary gland, which is also known as the hypothesis, lies in the cella tessica of the sphenoid bone. It is attached to the hypothalamus by a stalk. Pituitary is the smallest endocrine gland, yet it is called the master of endocrine glands because it produces hormones that control the thyroid gland, the adrenal cortex and the gonads. Anatomically, the pituitary is divided into the adenohypophysis or the anterior pituitary and the neurohypophysis or the posterior pituitary. The adenohypophysis develops as an outgrowth of the ectoderm called Rothke's pouch in the roof of the buccal cavity of the developing embryo. It includes an intermediate lobe or pars intermedia and anterior lobe or pars distalis. The pars intermedia atrophies during human fetal development. Did you know that in humans, the pars intermedia is almost merged with the pars distalis. While the pars distalis produces several important hormones such as the growth hormone or GH, prolactin or PRL, thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH, adrenocorticotrophic hormone or ACTH, luteinizing hormone or LH, and follicle stimulating hormone or FSH, the pars intermedia secretes only one hormone called melanocyte stimulating hormone or MSH. Let's learn about the various hormones secreted by the pars distalis of the anterior pituitary. The growth hormone or somatotrophic hormone acts on the liver, skeletal muscle, cartilage, bone and causes cells to grow and multiply. Hyposecretion of this hormone during the growth years or puberty causes dwarfism, in which both bone and organs fail to grow. Moreover, body proportions become childlike. Conversely, hypersecretion of the growth hormone during childhood causes gigantism, which leads to an abnormal increase in the length of the bones. Persons affected by gigantism have extraordinarily long limbs. Such people grow very tall, but their body proportions are about normal. Hypersecretion of the growth hormone causes 
acromegaly in adults. This condition is characterized by the abnormal growth of the hands, feet and face, especially of the lower jaw. Prolactin is known as the maternity hormone because it stimulates the development of the mammary glands during pregnancy and lactation after childbirth. TSH stimulates the synthesis and secretion of hormones such as thyroxine and triiodothyroxine by the thyroid gland. ACTH acts on the adrenal cortex. It controls the production and secretion of steroid hormones like glucocorticoids and the sex corticoids. In females, LH stimulates ovulation of the graphene follicles, the formation of the corpus luteum, and the secretion of progesterone by the corpus luteum. Hyposecretion of this hormone leads to sterility in females. In males, LH is known as the interstitial cell stimulating hormone. It stimulates the Leydig cells in the testes to secrete androgens. FSH stimulates the development of several ovarian follicles in the ovaries. In males, FSH and androgens stimulate spermatogenesis in the seminiferous tubules of the testes. Together, FSH and LH are called gonadotrophins because their target organs are the gonads. MSH or intermedin is the only hormone secreted by the pars intermedia and is also known as intermedin. MSH regulates skin pigmentation by stimulating the melanocytes. Neurohypophysis develops from the terminal region of an ectodermal outgrowth of the hypothalamus. It is also known as pars nervosa or the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland. It is under the direct neural control of the hypothalamus. It stores and releases two hormones called oxytocin and vasopressin. These hormones are actually synthesized by the hypothalamus and are transported to the neurohypophysis through axons. In females, oxytocin enhances contraction of smooth muscle cells in the wall of the uterus at the time of childbirth and milk ejection from the mammary glands. Therefore, oxytocin is known as the birth hormone and milk ejection hormone. Vasopressin stimulates the kidneys to reabsorb water and electrolytes into the blood by the distal tubules. It thereby reduces the loss of water through urine. Hence it is also called the antidiuretic hormone. Hyposecretion of the antidiuretic hormone leads to diabetes insipidus. It is characterized by the excretion of dilute urine several times a day resulting in excessive thirst and dehydration. Another endocrine gland in the brain is the pineal gland. It is a small rounded gland located on the dorsal side of the forebrain. It secretes a hormone called melatonin which regulates the 24-hour rhythm of the body. It maintains the normal rhythms of the sleep-wake cycle, body temperature, etc and also influences metabolism, pigmentation, the menstrual cycle, and our defense capability. The endocrine glands of the brain are very crucial in regulating mood, growth and development, metabolism, sexual functions, and reproductive processes in the human body.